with hits in the 80s and 90s like You'll Be In My Heart, Phil Collins sold about 150 million albums. That makes him one of the top-selling artists of all time. Now he is reintroducing some of the classics, and guess what? He spoke with Anthony Mason about what it means for his future in music. Anthony, good morning. Good morning. It's been a long time since we've heard from Phil Collins, who abruptly announced his retirement five years ago. Since then, he's wrestled with depression and divorce and a neck injury that prevents him from playing the drums. But now he's back. Well, almost. With seven number one hits in the 80s, Phil Collins became a global superstar. His music, inescapable. In the back half of the 80s, you were everywhere. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I do have to feel like I have to go out because I didn't realize it. Collins is now re-releasing those solo albums with additional tracks and updated cover photos. So this is the new you? It's a, it's a new me, yeah. It's a small step back into music for the singer who hasn't released an album of new material since 2002. Are you writing songs? Well, I haven't been because I'm trying to avoid being me frankly. Yeah. That's why I retired. I just yeah. was fed up with it. You were fed up with what part of it? I, I can't describe it. I just, did, you know, fell out of love with music a bit. Did you really believe people would not miss you? I really, I, I did. I don't, I don't know. I can't explain it, but that's what I felt. Mm -hmm. And I, I started to feel that music was the enemy. <laughs> After Collins ruled the airwaves in the 80s as a solo artist tonight, tonight, tonight. and with the band Genesis, he suffered a backlash, becoming, as Rolling Stone called him, one of the most unfairly and inexplicably vilified men in rock and roll. Did you ever ask yourself why you became a kind of a punching bag? Well, you wonder, yeah. But it does gain momentum and have a life of its own. Why do I read it? because someone tells me it's there. I don't go looking for it. Jack Nicholson and I are thrilled to be standing in front of Phil Collins! Collins seemed to take the blame for all the musical excesses of the 80s. Good evening, London, and good evening, the world. For flying the Concorde across the Atlantic to play both legs of Live Aid in 1985. Would you welcome Mr. Robert Plant? and for a much maligned performance there with Robert Plant, Jimmy Page, and John Paul Jones. It was part of a Led Zeppelin that wasn't quite so good as it might have been. And I've, I've been blamed for that ever since, and it wasn't my fault. <laughs> Robert was not ready to be ma He wasn't match fit, Robert. You know, to sing that stuff, mm. the old stuff, you really got to wear your voice in, and, and Jimmy was dribbling, so... Jimmy was dribbling? <laughs> yeah. I knew, I knew that was dangerous when I saw it. <laughs> you want to explain that term for me? <laughs> um, you know, coming out of the mouth. Uh-huh. It was in another place, put it that way. But as contemporary artists like Adele and Pharrell have paid him respect, Collins has emerged from the shadows. He's also back with his family. And with your wife. Yeah. Shh. Yes, I am. Yeah. Well, you know, we realize we made a mistake. Reuniting with his third wife, Oriane, means he's back with his two youngest sons, Nicholas, now 14, and Matthew, who's 11. And Matthew said... The, the other day, that on his birthday, he just wished that this would happen. What did you think when he said that to you? I was very moved, you know. Yeah. You view it as a second chance? It's simple. We missed each other. And his children have helped Collins reconsider his career in music. The kids Google me on YouTube, you know, and mm -hmm. watch some of the clips, and I think that's good, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I really, I look over their shoulder and I, that was great fun, that tour, you know. And that guy wasn't too bad. <laughs> yeah, you start to sort of say, 
forgot about that. You know if you went out on tour with all those songs, you know you'd sell out. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, people are stopping me in the street and saying, and I, I really am touched by that. And I can, I can smell it, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, can, I can imagine it. So we might see you play again. Yes. Ah, damn, I said it. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> you might. <laughs> in fact, Collins has announced he will perform at a benefit for his children's charity in March. It will be his first concert since 2010. So he's going to be back on tour. I think he wants to be back on tour. He, you know, he's had uh, he had back surgery in October, uh, which which has delayed things a little bit. But I think he's ready. People are people at, want him back, and, yeah. and I think he can feel it. Yeah. Yeah. The, the love between he and his son is touching. Yes, it's nice to see. Yeah, classic music. I was singing every song. <laughs> you know them all. Singing every song. <laughs> you know them all. And I just, I, I can't let this go without saying how nice you looked in your suede, <laughs> I knew this your, was suede your suede leather jacket. <laughs> Thank you very you much. You know who I Thank love you. it when you wear Thank it. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> deeply touched. <laughs> That's what we're here for. You're watching CBS This Morning. We'll be right back.